Hi guys, I'm Mitchell Dale from Rugby League Week TV, joined by Rocco Luca. We're looking at the big winners and losers from round 20. Now, number three, big winner, Melbourne Storm. Uh, I get the feeling they're going to come home pretty strongly. Cooper Cronk outstanding on Friday night. You have a look at their run home, it's very good. It is very good, Mitch. Um, they play only one team above them, and that's the Roosters, who are coming off the back of two losses. So, I mean... Expect the Storm to be in the top four, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think they're really coming home with a wet sail. Number two is the North Queensland Cowboys. Now, they were 0-8 a few weeks ago away from home. All of a sudden, they've won their past two in Sydney. They are coming home with a wet sail. We mentioned Melbourne were. So too are the Cowboys. It was interesting. It was round 21 last year. So it was this time last year that the Cowboys went on that six-game winning streak. Uh, you look at they've got four of their last six games are at home there in North Queensland. Yeah, definitely. And to top that all off, they get their co-captain back this week, Matt Scott, which is a huge boost for that club. And uh, if they make that eight, who's going to want to play them? Yeah, exactly. Matt Scott back. They don't need to go on a run like they did last year now. They are in a very good position. Probably won't be able to squeeze into the four, but I think they're probably in line to finish better off than they were last year. Number one, it has to be Jared Hayne. What a freakish display on Saturday night. Yeah, he just never ceases to surprise. I mean, that try he scored, I could, we could watch that over and over again. Um, but the challenge for him now is he's got to keep doing that each and every week. Uh, that eel side relies on him so much. And if he can do that, an 0-9 run like we saw what, what happened there, I mean, that's not beyond him. It's, yeah, it's not beyond him. It's not beyond the team. Interestingly, Brad Arthur says in Rugby League Week this week, he talks about the energy that Jared's bringing to the change room and also coming out of the state of origin period. Uh, he's come out of that on a high, obviously, led New South Wales to victory there, wants to do the same for Parramatta. As you said, though, he's going to have to do it like he did in 2009. He's going to have to do it every week, but boy... On the performance that we saw on Saturday night, you're not going to back against him. He is the number one winner for us this week. For the three big winners, you've also got three big losers for this week. Number three, Canberra Raiders. What's going on? Look, I mean, this is the time of year when they should be thriving. It's the middle of winter, icy conditions in the nation's capital, and yet they're getting pumped at home. I mean, I just don't understand it. Yeah. Well, I don't think Ricky Stewart can either. He said last night they were of reserve grades down there. Making errors you expect in New South Wales Cup and Q Cup. You really can't argue with him. Uh, I would say they're wooden spoon favourites now. I agree 100%. I mean, at least the Sharks, they're showing us something. So are the Knights. Exactly. Number two is the Panthers. Now, unfortunately for the Panthers, they were flying for a long time. Injuries have hit, they've hit hard, and they've all hit in the one position. So they lost Isaac John earlier this year. They lost Tyrone Peachy a few weeks ago for the season with a pec injury. Now they've lost Peter Wallace for the year with a ruptured ACL. What are you going to do in the halves for them? Look, I guess their only option is to move Matt Moylan there and, uh, and sort of let Jared, Jamie Soward take a bigger role. But... Uh, They've got a tough run home as well, Mitch. Yeah, look, they have a really tough run home. The other option, of course, is Bryce Cartwright there. But to be honest, tough run home would have been inconceivable a few weeks ago. They could miss the eight. Look, based on that run home that we've seen, um, I, I think it's a likely possibility now, which we wouldn't have imagined a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, they've got the Dogs, they've got the Seagulls, they've got the Storm, they've got the Dragons who all of a sudden have their tails up. They've got the Warriors. It is a really tough run home for the Panthers. And number one this week on our list of the biggest losers for round 20 are the West Tigers. Probably not why you're thinking, though. I'm going to say it because Luke Brooks, they are letting him down in defence. He's being targeted by every side. You saw he was made a speed hump a few times by the Dragons. He's now missed 81 tackles this year, which is 15 more than the next worst defender, who's Tyrone Roberts from the Knights. Sides are targeting Luke Brooks in defence big time, and the Tigers aren't aiming up. They're not giving him enough support there on the fringes. No, I agree. I mean, he's a 19-year-old kid. His first full year of first grade, uh, the Tigers really need to rally around him and sort of ride shotgun and, and really protect him in defence, and they're not doing that at the moment. So no, no. He's, a, he's got a huge future, but this is going to start affecting his confidence as well. We saw Jason Nightingale bump him off. Uh, I think someone just really needs to sit there riding shotgun for him, making all his tackles. We know what he can do in attack, in defence at the moment. You have to say, a bit of a liability for the Tigers. So, the Tigers, number one losers for this week. Thank <laughs> you.